Hi everybody, it's Miss Brenner. I'm here to go over our science fiction online week one agendas and some expectations for the week. I hope that you are all staying happy and healthy. So let's talk a little bit about some different expectations and how uh, the setup for this online course is going to work. So step one every week you will get a video like this one to go over the agenda and there will also be a slide deck available on Schoology that also goes back over the agenda so it's the identical uh, slide set. So both are posted in the weekly folders along with in order to be successful through the week you need to look at the agenda and then complete all activities for the week. These assignments open at 10 a.m. on Monday of that week, so week one opens uh, this Monday and then closes the following Monday, so the Monday of week two, when the next slide set would open. So that would close at 8 a.m. So just keep that in mind every week that you have one week to complete the assignments and then those assignments close. As far as the grading policy goes, all grades will be recorded in Schoology and transferred to Home Access. So students are required to complete weekly assignments in accordance with the Mannheim Central School District grading policy, unless there are arrangements that are discussed with me as your teacher or that are discussed with uh, administration. So keep those in mind. Uh, completed assignments will be recorded with the appropriate grade as in the grade book. Um, I am human, I do make mistakes, so if you notice that an assignment does not seem up to par with what you uh, thought would be in the grade book, maybe I missed it, um, maybe I didn't receive your assignment and you thought you sent it, maybe there was a miscommunication, just keep those things in mind. I communicate on a regular basis home as far as assignments that are missing, so check your emails, make sure that you're keeping up to date with the grade books, that way we can make your grade look as great as possible. Uh, unsuccessfully completed or, or ungraded assignments will be recorded in the gradebook as follows. So an EX means that the assignment was excused based on maybe we came up with a different assignment that worked better for you, or maybe there was a reason that the assignment couldn't be completed. That would show up as EX. An I means incomplete, so I know that you started the assignment, um, but for some reason it has not been turned in on time and therefore would be marked with an I. An NS is not submitted, so I have no idea if the assignment was started or is in the process of being completed. It would be marked as an NS, as not completed or not submitted. Uh, and then NG is not yet graded. So if you see an NG, it's most likely going to be for a project or an essay where I have a large number of projects and essays to grade. And I wanted you to be aware that I received it, but I have not yet gotten to grading that assignment uh, based on the large quantity of assignments that I have to grade at that time. Um, so do keep in mind, keep up with the grade book, make sure that you are checking on a regular basis because we want to keep the grade book accurate. All right, so as far as examples of the grading policy, a successful student should be completing all their assignments on a weekly basis and on time. That ensures that they will have a successful grade and they're doing a great job. And if student X repeated that for nine weeks, they would have a successful grade by the end of the marking period. A struggling uh, student might only complete a couple of assignments every week, which would mean that they would fall behind and are not consistently completing assignments on time and completing them to the best of their ability. If these assignments go ungraded and therefore end up with a zero, the student could end up with a struggling or unsuccessful grade. And we wanna make sure that everyone has a successful marking period. So making sure that we turn assignments in on time, making sure that they uh, have been completed to the best of our ability is essential. An unsuccessful grade means that the student did not complete the majority of assignments. So maybe they only completed two assignments a week or didn't complete any assignments. And therefore they had an unsuccessful grade because those grades were then after being marked as incomplete or being marked as uh, not yet submitted, they were then marked with zero because they were too far past the due date to be turned in for partial credit as accordance with the Mannheim Central uh, guidelines as far as grading. Student Z therefore uh, has an unsuccessful grade for the marking period. If you have any questions about the grading policy, any questions about 
um, what it means to have a successful grade, a struggling grade, or an unsuccessful grade, please feel free to contact me personally. I'll be happy to discuss grading further with you. So let's talk a little bit about our week expectations. I'm sorry, this says week two. This is supposed to say week one. There we go. So for week one, we are going to be looking at an introduction to the course and literary content. Like we just said, we're going to go over grading policy. We're going to talk about our expectations for this course and things that will be completed um, in weekly assignments. This module is going to go over online class expectations and etiquette for the course, uh, also called netiquette, considering this is an online course. Students will be able to use Screencast-O-Matic or Schoology's videotaping resource. They'll also be able to comment on each other's videos and have a pretty well understanding of how to manipulate the online platform through Schoology. Essential questions, how can I, the student, reach my full potential in this online course? Those are things that we're going to be taking a look at, as long as what can myself as the instructor do to best support uh, a successful online classroom. So let's go on to our activities for the week. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need to complete is the course syllabus and netiquette guide, which is linked in the week one activities. You're going to need to read the Mannheim Central High School online netiquette guidelines and read the acceptable use policy. I also have linked the course syllabus, which is in the course information folder. It is right above the week one uh, folder on our online classroom. After you complete reading all of these resources, you will need to complete the introduction quiz. It's about five questions. It's in the week one activity one folder. Um, after that, you would move on to activity two. Now, although I recommend doing these activities in order, you don't have to do them um, on separate days. You could do activities one and two on Tuesday if that is what works best for your schedule. Just make sure that you complete all the activities before the end of the week. All right, so activity two is about you. It's an introduction guide. You're going to watch an introduction video about myself as your instructor and some guidelines to create your own video. So in the activity folder for uh, activity two, you're going to watch a welcome and about uh, myself as your instructor video. You'll then read the about you rubric. So it's a rubric that tells you what needs to be in uh, your own personal video. There are also links to a Screencast-O-Matic instructions video and a Schoology Recorder instructions video. You can use either. I recommend first trying the Schoology Recorder simply because you're already on the platform and it should work easiest for you as a student. If you have any issues with using the Schoology Recorder, please feel free to contact me. You're also welcome to try the Screencast-O-Matic. That is what I'm currently using. It is free. I use it in connection with Schoology to upload these agenda videos to you. Please feel free to try that. There are instruction videos for both platforms in the folder for Activity 2. Uh, activity 2 is simply to test those out and let me know how it goes for you and let me know if you have any issues or concerns. Now, do keep in mind, this is an online course. What comes with the online course is learning how to use technology, which is an essential skill and considered in the top 10 uh, for uh, careers in the future, and therefore there might be issues that occur. And problem solving is another top skill, as uh, listed by LinkedIn and Monster, as far as careers that are going to have desirable traits in the future. So we're practicing that now by getting used to using technology and learning that sometimes we have to adapt our plan in order uh, to meet the needs of everyone else. So activity three, after you've tried out those platforms, figured out what works best for you, you're going to record the About You video. And these are the different things that you will need to address in the video. You'll need to say what your name, grade, and how you feel you learn the best in the video. You're going to tell me two truths and a lie about yourself. So if you've ever played that game where somebody gives two true facts about themselves and then one that is a lie about themselves and the people have to guess, that's what you would do. And then why are you taking this course interest required or possibly a career interest maybe you have some kind of personal um, interest in writing or literature please let me know what about this course piqued uh, your interest to join us what do you like to do in your free time so what personally interests you 
And as your instructor, what do I need to know about you for you to be successful in this course? So make sure that you answer those five questions in your recording. And that would be activity three is to actually do the recording. Activity four, you're going to upload your video. So if you used Screencast-O-Matic, you would have uploaded your screencast to YouTube, your personalized YouTube channel, and therefore taken the link like I do for you guys every week to make this agenda. So that way your classmates can watch your video. Or if you use the Schoology uh, recorder, it should upload directly to Schoology. So steps in activity three, you created your video. You're going to post the about you video in the class discussion post located in the activity three and four folder in the week one folder. You're going to comment on another student's post welcoming them to the class. So you are welcome to tell them a little bit about yourself back. Maybe they didn't watch your video, but you watched theirs. Maybe you want to talk a little bit about their two truths and a lie and take a guess, but welcome them to the class and give them a little bit of information about what you gained from their video. Review the instructions slash rubrics for the project and discussion before posting. So make sure that you understand. Uh, hopefully you read the rubric and everything before recording your video, but please make sure that you go back over and make sure your video lines up with the expectations for the video and the discussion activity. Activity five is a little bit about the value of science fiction. So our course is a science fiction online. So of course we're gonna talk a little bit about why science fiction matters. So what is the purpose of science fiction is a short article that is posted in the week one activity five folder. You're going to complete a reflection for the reading titled the purpose of science fiction writing prompt posted in the week one activity five folder. So after you read the article, you're going to reflect on it and answer in the writing prompt. Our last activity is activity six, which is silent reading. Every week we read for 90 minutes minimum. You can break that apart. You can read to yourself silently. You can read out loud to somebody else. Um, however, you cannot have somebody else read to you. So you must physically be doing the reading either to yourself silently or out loud. And that is for 90 minutes and you can break that apart over days, over, uh, just hours throughout the day, however you like. After you, are, after you have completed your 90 minutes, you're going to do a discussion post and tell everybody in our class a little bit about what book you have chosen to read and why. Summarize what you have learned about the setting and character so far in the book for the class and you know what has piqued your interest to pick up this book of all the books on your bookshelf. Uh, comment on one other student's discussion post about what they are reading, so maybe what book they are personally reading interests you. Maybe it's not the kind of book that you would typically uh, prefer to pick up, but tell them a little bit about what you thought as far as their book, maybe in comparison to your book, but just responding to another student in the class. Alrighty, and that is all of our activities for week one. This is our expected and anticipated grading policy for the week. So these are our different assignments. Uh, the point scheme is uh, possible to change uh, just as I'm sure you're all aware um, the schedule for the upcoming year could possibly change and we are very hopeful that we'll have a steady and successful year um, but as we go on here the points may change things could change but this is the anticipated so syllabus and etiquette quiz is five points about you project video is 15 points about you discussion post so your response to the videos is five points the purpose of science fiction writing prompt is five points and the silent reading discussion post is five points which would make a total of 35 points for week one if you have any questions about any of the assignments or any of the points or how to use technology please feel free to contact me i am available um, every day third block so in the email i will tell you what time of the day that is based on the updated bell schedule um, and I am also available before and after school. So please feel free to send me an email. It might be a little bit till I respond because I could be in class, but I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.